What's up, guys? It's Mercurius here, and this is going to be Halo Help Me number one. Slay. Now, technically, this is also going to be like a little mini commentary because I have some things I want to talk about. Um, but for the most part, I'm just going to be discussing with y'all how you can improve your sniper gameplay. Mostly your sniper gameplay. We'll go over some other things. First thing I want to talk about, because I'm close to 230 subscribers, I have actually thought about doing a little like contest slash giveaway thing. And what I want to do is I actually have a Dazzle DVC 100 capture card. And if you don't know what that is, it's like a $50 capture card. It was the one I used before the, the hoppage that I got. And basically it captures in 480p, but pretty, pretty darn good quality 480p. So if you watch any of my Halo 3 montages, that's what I used to make that. And I can still post them, I can still up render them to 720p. It doesn't really do anything. It just yeah, looks nicer with them in HD on YouTube. But, um, so I'm actually thinking about giving that away to a subscriber, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm either going to give it to... I have two ideas. What I, what one of my ideas was is anyone who doesn't have a capture card but likes to edit Halo videos, if you use my spare clips, you can only use my spare clips and make a montage with it and send me the montage. And like depending on the entries, I would post the top three on my channel and give you a shout out. And the winner would get the Dazzle DVC 100 and some other stuff. I don't know. I don't really know. I haven't figured it out yet. Or I would just do whoever can recommend the most subscribers to me would end up getting it because I don't use it anymore, obviously. And it's not going to help anyone who already has an HD capture card. But it'd be pretty nice for someone who doesn't have anything to just get something for free that they can capture and it'd come with all the wires and all the stuff you need hooked up. And you can just download the drivers for it off the internet. But um, yeah. So that's my first idea. All right. Now back to the Halo Help Me. This video is actually dedicated to Bryson, Bryson Lax 54, DJ Moncrief 904, my friend Bryson Seabold. Just got into playing Halo Reach because he started watching my videos on YouTube and thought that they uh, looked pretty fun. So he just got into Halo Reach and I said that I would make some videos to try to help him and other people get better at this game. Now this video right here is going to be a support sniper video. This is going to be showing you how to get better at sniping from long range when you're not contested. And people are like, oh, this is easy. You're just camping in big team. All you're doing is just picking off kids who don't see you. Of course that's what I'm doing. Of course that's what I'm doing. But this is a team slayer game, so what do you really expect me to do? Of course I'm going to sit in the background with a sniper rifle and kill as many kids as I can. I'm not trying to do anything more than that. It's a slayer game. The point is to get kills and don't get killed. And if you end up noticing, I'm actually playing, by the way, on my brother's account. I got this game back in my parents' house like a few weeks ago. But, um... If you notice, I end up going like 35 and 2 or something, 35 and 3. I took out like 3 minutes during the middle of the game where I wasn't playing. I just like walked away and sat there. And um, so I took out those 3 minutes. So it's going to fade out in between a couple of lives. But I put in all the parts while I'm actually sniping. Alright, so what I want to talk to you about is how to get good at sniping briefly. In this video, if you guys really want to get good at sniping, this is kind of hard to do because everyone likes to take the sniper rifle on big team. But if you really want to get good at the actual act of sniping, not the flashy stuff that you know I do in some of my videos where I'm no scoping people or where I'm quick scoping people, doing this right here is not going to really help you with that, but it will make you become a better player overall. What I used to do, when Halo Reach first started out, I actually wasn't any better at Halo Reach than I was at Halo 3. And in Halo 3, I was like pretty much at playing at like a Brigadier level. I wasn't, you know, great. I was above average. I was like a 35 in MLG, like a legit tryhard in that, like a 40 in Team Slayer, like around a 45 in Lone Wolf. But I, I wasn't really like actually very good at the game. Like there were a lot of people who were better than me, and I was better than a lot of people. And when Halo Reach started out, I was the same way. And I didn't understand why people were so much better than me. And then I realized it was because I wasn't really playing smart. I was just playing. I wasn't paying attention. I would just rely on the fact that whenever I ran around the map in a random pattern, I would just rely on the fact that when I saw them, I'd be better. When I saw other people, I'd be better at the DMR or whatever weapon I had they would be. And I realized that's not the way to play Halo Reach, because if you get in that situation, a lot of times a really terrible kid will just kill you with an assault rifle if he sees you at closer range than you see him. So what you need to learn to do is you need to start playing strategically. Look at the positioning, where you are on the map. Look at what you're doing. Think about where your teammates are. If it's a free-for-all game, think about where you are and then where everyone else is. Realize that if you're not looking in an area, and there's like a long stretch of space on one side of you, there's probably going to be people there. Like, unless you are playing on a team and you literally control the map, you need to always be thinking about where the other people are and where they're going to come from. You need to pay attention to that. Now, in this game, it's really easy to do. This is, like, the most basic of ways to learn this is in Big Team Slayer because you just go up and sit on a sniper perch on Hemorrhage, and there's really only, like, one place a guy can come from. It's directly in front of you. And you have that entire viewpoint in front of you where you can see everyone in front of you. 
So no one can like sneak up on you unless they somehow flank your entire eight-man team and get behind you, which has happened before, but doesn't happen usually. So this is the most basic way to start playing strategically. You get up on the sniper perch. You see me looking at it right there. That's a sniper perch for one side. I'm on blue team right now, so my sniper perch is obviously up in top of the cave. What I do when I start off, I get the sniper rifle, I go and sit up in the cave, and then I shoot. Sometimes guys charge me when I'm in the cave. That's okay. It'll that's where you'll get your practice at the close range sniping or if you switch to the DMR. Very often though, if you're a good sniper, the only person you have to worry about is the other team sniper. If you take out the other team sniper, most of the time you have a complete turkey shoot for the rest of the game. Because kids just straight up cannot see you. You're too far away, they're not going to be paying attention to you, and even if they can see you, they can't hit you with a DMR. So it really doesn't matter whether they see you or not, and you just get to pick them off. And what you need to practice when you're doing this is you need to practice headshots, headshots, headshots. Don't settle for the body shots because the body shots aren't going to help you. I mean, if obviously, if you can't kill them any other way, go for a body shot. Don't just let them survive. But go for headshots, headshots, headshots all the time. These kids are just going to be walking around. You're pretty much just going to be picking off people on the map who aren't even shooting at you. You're going to be uncontested the vast majority of the time when you're doing this. And this is how you're going to start to get the feel for the sniper. You're going to understand how the thumbstick moves and how the aimer moves while you're moving. And you see these guys are just running around. You just take them all out. And you just get as many kills as you can doing this. And this isn't the only level you can do this on. You can do this on a lot of the levels. A lot of the big team levels. You can do this on Paradiso. You can do this on Boneyard. Boneyard's one of my favorite. Paradiso up on top of the map or up on top of that tower. I actually you know, I actually don't know if they have that anymore. I think they might have done away with that because I think it's a new level now. I don't really play big team too much uh, or I haven't played big team too much recently but um, this was actually how I got good at sniping. I, I kid you not. When I first started out the game I was terrible at sniping because like I said in Halo 3 I didn't use the sniper rifle at all and I played big team, and I played big team religiously. I actually started a new account back when I was in my dorms, and uh, it was, I don't, I don't even remember the name of it, but I ended up going, like, I had like a four kill to death ratio on that account, because all I played was big team, and all I did was use the sniper rifle. So that is a good way to get good at the actual act of sniping, like support sniping, like sitting in the back and helping your team out, because if you notice, these kids are getting annihilated. Like, they really can't do anything, and there's a reason my team is winning, it's because I'm sitting in the back picking off all the kids who are doing something. And what a lot of people don't realize is if you have the sniper rifle, you can actually take out vehicles too. So the sniper rifle is the definition of a power weapon. You can take kids out from all over the map, you can literally decide where they spawn by looking at certain areas. Like, if you notice when I'm up in that uh, cave, they can't spawn on that other side because they will get taken out. On their little ledge, that ridge thing, they can't spawn there because they'll die immediately. So that's all I'm saying. This is the support sniper playlist. Now, I'm going to make a couple of other videos for this, but I want to talk about what I do and how I do it. Like, big team battle is how I get good at sniping. Actual sniping. Not quick scoping, not no scoping, sniping. Big team battles for that. Free for all, Rumble Pit, is how I get good at actually playing the game. If you want to be a good player, play Rumble Pit all the time. Because, yeah, you'll play shitty kids like. I don't know, every once in a while, but the vast majority of the time, you're actually going to play with kids who are pretty skilled, and they will want to kill you, and Rumble Pit is a great way to get good at the actual game of Halo Reach. If you just want multi-kills, go and hop in multi-team. There's no place easier, I feel, to get multi-kills than multi-team. It's incredibly easy. So, let's review what I've said here. Best place to learn sniping, best playlist to learn sniping is Big Team Battles. Best place to actually learn how to play the game is Rumble Pit, because you'll have to use all the weapons. You can't just use the sniper. Best place to get multi kills is multi team. I'm going to put up a couple of multi team Halo help me's later, and I hope this helped you out. I'm not really sure how it went because it was my first one. I'm still learning. I think I probably just rambled for a little bit and didn't really, you know, go on. But remember, guys, like, favorite, and subscribe for more.